This video is part of a video series I'm doing on Xeronet. I'll put the link in the description. In my previous videos, I mentioned the use of Tor in Xeronet. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you what Tor is simply, or a basic overview of it, and then how simple it is to enable Tor fully in Xeronet. So first of all, what is Tor? So this is Tor's website, Tor project. And normally you can just download Tor and then you can use that to view the normal internet. So just normal websites. And there are also Tor hidden services, which are like websites on Tor. So uh, the people hosting the websites are anonymous and the people viewing the websites are also anonymous, or at least their IP is anonymous. Um, so a lot of people know Tor because it used to have a big like hidden service or website on it called Silk Road. I personally didn't use Silk Road or whatever, but it was used to sell like weed and other drugs and like fake counterfeit goods. Um, so this was well taken down, but it was, I think it lasted for a while because it was hard to find out where the website was hosted because of um, the anonymity that you get with um, using Tor. So what Tor is, is simply there is a network of servers. So the, we have some servers which are exit nodes and these are the exit uh, computer, uh, servers that go to the real internet. And then uh, there are loads of other servers which are volunteer computers, which are relay nodes. So when you connect to Tor, you enter through an entrance node, or you enter through one computer, and then your internet traffic then goes to a relay computer, and then once it goes from the relay computer, it then goes to the exit computer, and then out to the normal internet. So how, how this is beneficial is your encryption to the first computer that you enter the network is encrypted and this person, well, they know your IP, but they don't know where you're going to and they don't know any other internet traffic other than they have to send their internet traffic to the relay node. So on this here relay node, uh, they get traffic from the first node that, or the first computer. Whenever I say node, I mean computer. So they get the traffic from the first computer and it's encrypted again. So this person can't see the traffic that this one receives. And then this one forwards the traffic to the exit node. And then the exit node then can read your traffic and then give you the correct website. However, the exit node doesn't know where you are because your traffic is going to this place, this person who has their network encrypted and this one, which also has the network encrypted. So it's kind of like an onion, hence why it's called Tor or the Onion Router project, I think it is. Um, so you've got different layers of encryption, f finally to the, your last bit, which is the internet, which means that you, when you're surfing, are anonymous. It's also free and it's run by volunteers. And you can, it has um, about, or over 2 million users a day. So it's a really big network, um, which has over 2 million users. So to enable that in zero, in zero net is really simple. So first of all, Tor is actually enabled some part um, by default. So if you slide out here, you can see with this website, the, there are 52 connectable people and I'm connected to 17 and there are 22 people who are, who are using Onion or Tor. That's what Owen Tor means, Onion. Um, and that means that you can, when you're browsing the website, you're, you're anonymous. So your IP can be anonymous. Uh, of course, if you, if you post um, on a website personal information like, oh, I live in England, then you'll be, won't be anonymous. So you do actually use an on a Tor for some connections, but a few of the connections will not be through Tor. However, if you want all your connections to be Tor, so you're anonymous, all you need to do is, um, if you refresh, 
and it's just telling me if you open that port on your router, it might be slightly faster. Is you just click enable Tor for every connection. Now, as you're going through like three different computers, the connection tends to be a little slower. However, it's not a really big problem. So all you do is you click use Tor for every connection. Now you've enabled it. So what you need to do is go down to your menu, quit ZeroNet, so to restart it, and go to your folder which you have ZeroNet in, just click run ZeroNet. Now once it's run, you refresh, and now you are using Tor for every connection. And you're now going to be anonymous when you use ZeroNet, and your IP will not be leaked out to anyone. So if you uh, thought this video was very useful, I'd really appreciate a like. And also, it's part of a series of videos. Uh, if you want any other videos on ZeroNet, like specific videos, you can just post in the comments uh, or message me on Reddit. And I will uh, hopefully make that video for you. Uh, thanks. And uh, I have loads more content coming, so it would be good if you subscribed.